Well, it is year two for the Plan for Tomorrow calendar, and I'm here with the artist, Dina Martin. Dina, why did you decide to do the calendar again this year? Um, well, I just had so much fun last year. <laughs> uh, it was crazy last year, but I learned a lot and um, just decided that I needed to keep the momentum going. And uh, I, I got some good response from the public. I got some, uh, some nice emails from people and um, just kind of sharing their story with me and asking, are you doing another one? So I kind of really couldn't say no. And I know last year the calendar was very successful. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, we, I guess we could say that. Um, they raised close to $20,000 for uh, the Canadian Cancer Society for our, our local office, so I was very happy with that. Now this year, we're trying to keep, last year the calendar was across Canada, this year we're keeping it more local. We're going to depend on Thunder Bay to sell all these calendars. What's different this year from last year? Uh, well, we decided not to go as crazy and uh, see what Thunder Bay is made of. And so we've, uh, we've used everything local from graphics to printing. And um, yeah, we just want to see what the community can do. Last year, they were very responsive to the first edition. And I, I believe that we're going to be just as successful this year. And um, I think that if we can make the statement here and we can move what we've printed, we've printed 1,500. Um, 300 I get to send to Winnipeg to my family. And so we'd like to move 1,200 locally, and I think we can do it. I think we can too. Now the cal we can see the, some of the artwork behind us. Is it all new artwork that you've completed this year? Yes, it is 12 newly painted pieces for this year, which I'm excited to get out in the community. Okay, now um, where, I guess this year you've also changed where the proceeds are going. Where are they going this year? Uh, this year they're going to be going to Camp Quality. Uh, I had the pleasure of going there this summer and uh, volunteering for a week. Um, the Camp Quality family just welcomed me with open arms. I went there not really knowing anybody and uh, didn't really know what to expect, but I was hoping that, you know, maybe I'd get to go and just share some stuff with the kids. Maybe we could do some painting. Just, you know, I, I've been kind of looking for that spot I, I think to really kind of dedicate my fundraising efforts to and um, when, I, when I was there I got to you know talk with the kids share some stories with them and it was great because once once I sh was able to tell them that I had been through what they had been through and I was younger um, they just completely opened up to me and uh, I, I got that connection and that bond that I was looking for and so to be doing this for them is almost kind of just a no-brainer for me I think it's going to a great place and yeah well, I think everyone needs to also be reminded that this is the reason it started was because you are a cancer survivor and that was that's a huge part of why you're doing this. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, like last year I was inspired by the Relay for Life and that's what kicked it all off and um, now that I'm in full swing painting again and it's it, being reminded that I did survive and that I am here and I am capable of doing this and I get to do what I love while I'm doing it. I mean, Now great. with the calendars, where can people get them? I know we're at the launch today, yeah. so people should be able to start buying the candle calendars right away. Where can they go to get them? Uh, you can buy them here at Shout Media. Uh, you can get them at uh, McKellar Confectionery, uh, Local Color Art Gallery. Um, you can get them at uh, Terra Nova Hair and Day Spa, Northern Lights Restaurant again, uh, Steeper's Tea. And we also, uh, again, Shaw Cable is going to be a supporter and they're going to be selling at both locations on Paquette and the Mall. And Scotiabank okay, will also great. be doing it again for us. So Great. Now, as we said earlier, the proceeds to this calendar are going to Camp Quality Northwestern Ontario. And I'm here with Gladys Berenger from Camp Quality. Gladys, how important is this, is, I guess, this whole calendar and the proceeds going to your organization? Well, this calendar is just amazing. And, and Dina, as Dina said, she's one of our volunteers. So that makes it even more significant because uh, Camp Quality uh, relies on our community f uh, through fundraising and donations. We're uh, totally a non-profit volunteer organization and uh, so it's through these kind of events that uh, we can provide the, the support to the families that we do. Uh, in addition to our week-long uh, program that we offer in the summer, which is the highlight of course of camp, uh, we provide year-round support to the children and their families. So we have a number of different activities that go on throughout the year to support the families. Now, I guess just for our viewers who don't know what Camp Quality is, what exactly does Camp Quality do? And I guess briefly, what is it? What do they do for the community? Uh, well, uh, 
as, as I said, it, it's a, a program where we provide year-round support to children living with cancer, so those that are uh, in treatment as well as those that are in remission. Uh, so we provide the, the week-long camp, and uh, the camp that we use is out at East Loon Lake. Uh, we're one of seven camps nationally, and uh, so there are seven camp qualities across Canada, and we're very pleased to have our own local camp in northwestern Ontario. Uh, we do, again, provide that ongoing support to the family. So the main goal of, of camp is not to focus on the cancer. It provides an opportunity for the children to um, almost forget about the cancer, forget about uh, hospitals and treatments and really focus on being kids, having fun, joy, laughter, the things that memories are made of. So uh, Dina's story just inspires the kids. She's made wonderful connections already and we're just so thrilled uh, with this whole project. And the fact that the proceeds to this calendar are going to some so, such a great organization. Now, once again, Dina, can you tell us where people can get the calendars? And they should go and buy them tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> and buy bundles of them. They're good for Christmas. Um, you can get them at, uh, bo or all three Scotia branches are going to be selling them, but they're not going to be selling them till mid-November. Um, but as of right now, you can get them at the Shaw locations, uh, McKellar Confectionery, uh, Local Colour Art Gallery, uh, Northern Lights Restaurant, uh, Steeper's Tea, and Terra Nova Hair and Day Spa. And we are at Shout Media, and they'll be selling them as well. Yes, that's correct. Okay, well, thank you both so much. Stay tuned for more on Shaw TV.